Okay guys, round two, Golden Corral. Time for breakfast. Let's go on in, see what they have to offer. Hey guys, it's Christopher with Food Traveler in the IE. So I'm actually out in the city of Lake Elsinore today. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Uh, yes, I do ride motorcycles. Uh, that's why I don't have my Food Traveler and the IE shirt on. So I decided to do a basically a part two of the Golden Corral video. Um, this time I'm just focusing on breakfast. Uh, breakfast basically is $12.99 uh, plus tax. You're looking at $14.13, uh, which isn't bad. Okay, guys, so let's check out the meat section first, the main section of the buffet. Let's go check that out. Hello, peeps. Thanks for watching. So I always like to show the spread of the food um, at Golden Corral because it does have a nice little variety of items. Uh, spaghetti, pizza, um, grits, oatmeal. Uh, surprisingly, they did have some lunch items that were here for breakfast as well. Um, so they did have a nice little variety. Um, I enjoyed my time here. I enjoyed looking at all the different foods. Uh, checking everything out. Uh, it was just really nice for a Sunday morning uh, early. This uh, sweet cornbread was absolutely delicious, guys. And over here you have the peach, I want to say, uh, topping along with the strawberry topping that's not shown, but really good. Those little mini waffles, very good if you put the syrup and uh, I like the strawberry jelly on top. And of course they have French toast and they have a variety of foods um, that they were serving. Corn brief didn't really look all that great. Uh, so I passed up on that. Uh, French fries are normal. I passed on those. I think I had one onion ring. This is the pork that they were cooking. Uh, when it's done, looks really good. It has the char marks, still has some juice in it. Uh, so pretty, pretty decent. Over here, I caught them making the pancakes, um, which are fresh, hot, ready to go. Uh, man, people go through those pretty quick, so they got to keep those on the grill. Uh, but really cool to watch them make that. And then you have carnitas. If you want to mix that in with your omelets, that'll make it really good. The rolls, I actually didn't eat any rolls, and I'm kind of disappointed about that. Not a big fan of the ham. Okay, you got your chips and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Grab me a jalapeno. Don't want the beans, not gonna fill up on that. They have some basic taco seasoning mixes, kind of passed on those, um, but they're out there. Uh, so that's the finished pork. Can't get a really good look at that, um, but we'll keep moving on. Uh, a lot of the stuff, they were out, so they had to refill a lot of it. The long sausage, uh, people love that, so they were going through that. Tater tots, way overcooked, way too crunchy. There's my chicken fried steak. Uh, I was waiting for them to bring out some fresh chicken fried steak. We got some white gravy for that. Uh, some nice biscuits. Biscuits are always really good over here. Kind of passed on the scrambled eggs because I went with the egg whites, but I did get a bunch of those onions and peppers, mixed it in with my omelet. Fried bacon, guys. And look at this chicken. This chicken was ginormous. Oh my goodness, I wish I had two stomachs, I would have ate even more. Um, but yeah, fried chicken uh, was really good, and the deep fried bacon was a huge, big surprise. Fast food combos are usually about 10 bucks anyways. So $14.13 for all you can eat breakfast, sounds pretty good. So I just ordered my food, so let me show you guys what I got. So. I want to start out with the omelet station, okay? Omelet station, they make your omelets cooked to order uh, because I'm on a diet. Um, I asked for my omelets egg whites only, so I got the egg white omelet, and I did something I don't normally do. I had a bunch of vegetables. So I got green beans, I got mushrooms, I got onion, I got peppers uh, with the egg whites. Uh, so make it just much healthier, very little cheese on that. So I got that one. And because I'm fat, I got two of them. 
Uh, fresh, healthy, very, very good. I got some chili actually. I think it's like a three bean chili or something to go with my omelet. So I do want to put those on my omelet. Take a bite of the egg white omelet with the beans on top. I know you guys would be here. Because I'm loving it. Uh, give that a try. Hey, give me a spoon. So I guess I'll just I'll get guess I'll just fork it. I'm gonna have to fork it. So I'm gonna put this on my omelet. Just put it on one because I wanna see how it tastes first. I don't wanna put it on both of them. If I really don't like it. We got Texas Pete hot sauce. Put a little bit of that, a little bit of that on. Mm. Not bad, guys. And if you look right here, guys, okay, I got the jalapeno for a little bit of heat. Onion ring, nothing major. Bacon looks really good this morning. But check this out. What do you think that is? This, my friends, this is a piece of fried bacon. This is fried bacon. So I have to give this a try right now because I've never had fried bacon. And I didn't even know they served it at breakfast time. So fried bacon, guys. Oh, wow. A lot of crunch. A little bit of oil from the bacon. The more you chew it, the more the bacon comes out. Wow. Fried bacon, guys. Fried bacon. First time ever. Fried bacon. So I'm not gonna bore you guys making you watch me eat all this food. So I'm gonna eat it all up real quick and then I'll come right back for round two. waiting for the sausage so I got the sausage links uh, they look really good I got me some pancakes uh, sugar-free syrup so I was happy about that uh, can't go wrong with the grilled cheese sandwich grilled cheese sandwich yummy and then I got a couple tater tots it looked a little overcooked might might have cooked all the flavor out but hey it's all good Okay hey guys, round number two. Hey, I just wanted to stop the video and let you guys know. I'm not eating all this food for my enjoyment. I'm eating all this food to show you guys what they have. That's all. I mean, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be eating at these places. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can't even believe that myself. Anyways, round number two. So I got this plate, yes there's a lot of sugars on here and I'm probably, unfortunately, only going to take one little bite of each one. Um, if they had much smaller pieces I would get those, but they don't. So I got to get a whole thing. Let me tell you what's covering my plate. It's covering my plate. A huge piece of fried chicken. Guys. It covers all the other food on the plate. It covers all the other food. That's one piece of chicken. Like this chicken must have ate other chickens when it was growing up because that's one big chicken. Now put that in a chicken sandwich and I'll pay nine dollars for that. Put this big, big, put this big piece of chicken on one chicken sandwich with the avocado and the bacon. That's a $9 sandwich. That's a $9 sandwich. And it's huge. So, I still have the Texas Pete's hot sauce. I prefer Tapatio, Valentino, but they don't have it. So 
So we're gonna put a little bit on the outside of this. It's still warm or hot. Uh, try not to eat all the skin. I try to peel the skin off, but for the video, I'll try and eat some of the skin. No, seriously, guys. Uh, I usually don't eat all the skin. I usually peel it off. So maybe I can take a small bite. I don't know. Just try. Let me try. This is a really good piece of fried chicken. Last time I came over to Golden Corral, I did not care for the coating on the chicken. It was a little dry. Man, what a difference. This chicken, the coating is not bad. The inside is just very juicy. Um, you can see the steam. Can't really see the juice, but wow, it's, it's on there. A piece of the skin. So that's a good piece of chicken. So I'm gonna put that off to the side, let it cool off a little bit. Because I want to try some of the other stuff before it gets cold. Okay, so let me taste the grilled cheese. Mm. It's not too buttery. Not too buttery, not too oily. It actually tastes a little light. But I definitely can see the butter on it. That's pretty good. So let's taste the pancakes. Give that a try. Kind of funky taste to the pancake. I mean, it still has a pancake taste, a little fluffy. Um, not the best. Not the best. I know you guys are going to say, well, what do you expect? Or it's not IHOP. Or... When people serve food, they got to serve the best of the food, no matter where it's at, even if it's a buffet. Let's try again. I mean, they're decent. They're not bad. Would I get a couple more, maybe? So let's try the sausage. This one I was waiting for for quite a while. Not bad. Not bad. I get some more. Let's try the round sausage. Let's see if it have a different taste. So I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, one of my favorites. If you've ever watched one of the other videos, it's chicken fried steak. Chicken fried steak. Yeah. So here it is. I almost spilt it. So here's your chicken fried steak. A little bit of gravy on there. Oh, I can't wait. I love these. Love, love, love these. So we're going to try the chicken fried steak. If I don't put it on the floor. Remember the chicken fried steak, guys? Okay, so we're gonna give that a try. Probably if I would have ate this when, it first, when I first brought it over here when it was hot, probably a lot better. Let's put some more hot sauce on it. So far, I love the egg white omelet with all the vegetables. Uh, I do like the fried bacon. That was interesting. Um, a lot of coating though, so not a whole lot of flavor taste but it was something different. So I'm gonna try this with just a little bit of gravy. This is the chicken fried steak. Okay, hot sauce, gravy, chicken fried steak. I mean, I love chicken fried steak, guys, so even if I have a bad piece of chicken fried steak, it's still gonna be chicken fried steak. Um, this isn't bad. There's a little bit of spices in, in the chicken fried steak. Like I said if it would came out and I would have ate it fresh, it probably a little bit better. Um, but I like it. It's not bad. Is it the best? No. But it's good. I'm really impressed with the bacon today. The bacon is not just fried out. Sometimes they cook the bacon too much and then it gets rid of all the juice. 
or they overcook it and it's just crunch and there's no flavor to the bacon. So this bacon looks actually looks really good. Today. It's a good texture. Be careful of these guys. These are dangerous. I always get one of these just to turn the heat up. But here's the thing. If they don't cook these enough and you don't see a lot of the cook part on the outside, you're gonna get a raw pepper. And that thing will wreck your whole morning. So just be careful, take small bites, but it's definitely great for flavor. I wanna try this sweet cornbread. It's got a little piece. And I wanna give it a try, it looks really good. I really like that. At first I was chewing it and I was like, I don't know, is it, is it a little dry? It's not very moist. But the more you chew it, man, it, it, the flavor really starts coming out. It reminds me of almost like a cake, like a cornbread cake. Like that's really good. I really like that. So next we're gonna try the waffle. I put some strawberries on it and some syrup. So let's cut it open. It's already soft now. It was hard when I got it. Put your on it. I'm bleeding. Take blood. Just kidding, guys. Don't get scared. Um. Actually, I like that. Um, the strawberry, that's where it's at. The strawberry, that's definitely makes that little waffle. So good, it was hot, it was fresh, uh, gooey. So I'm gonna try and cut a small piece of that. There you go. That's delicious, guys. That's just so delicious. A little too sweet for me. I prefer the waffle. The, the strawberry syrup. That's more my vibe. That's more. Not so sweet. The other one's super sweet. Now they cook this pork on the grill. They just cook pork and then throw it out there. So. Here's the pork. You'll see the grill marks on there. Very salty. There's, there's the same. It's pork. It's some salty. Yeah, I know. Now they have this cheese pizza that they just brought out. It looks really good. So I'm gonna take a bite of that. Guys, I've been eating pizza. I ate way too much pizza the last week. So I'm not gonna eat this whole thing. I know I don't want to waste food either, but I'll just take a bite. This is not bad. A little doughy. Maybe like your frozen pizza at the store when you take it home, cook it. Something like that, a little on the mushy side in the middle. I'm about ready to tap out. No, but wait. There's still two more rounds. I haven't even touched on it. I have to get salad. Yes, because I have to eat healthy, guys. I gotta eat healthy. I gotta look out for, you know, look out for the food traveler. I gotta make sure I eat good food. So I'm gonna go load up on a salad with plenty of ranch dressing because that's what you do when you wanna eat a healthy salad. Plenty of croutons. Um, so let me go get that, and then uh, we'll switch to dessert. Okay, thing, let's show you what the salad bar looks like. I'm not going to show you, you me eating a salad because you've seen that before, a person eating salad. They're basic. I basically put everything on the salad and make it unhealthy. But I do want to show you the spread of the salad bar, so take it. Okay, for the salad bar. I really enjoy the salad bar at... 
this place, Golden Corral. Yeah, that's right, Golden Corral. Um, they always have fresh items on the salad bar, from the carrot salad to potato salad, macaroni salad, their iceberg lettuce, spinach uh, lettuce, I guess that's what you call it. Always really fresh. Um, they have just a variety of toppings, as you can see. I mean, you can really make a delicious salad. I mean, if you went anywhere and had a salad made like this with all those meats and toppings on there, you're probably paying 12 bucks. So just the salad bar alone, you can really enjoy yourself. Oh, and right there, those pans, those are for the omelets. Love the egg white omelets. Love, love, love them. There's the spinach. And we're finish off with uh, some pozole, some beans. And some oh, beans. God. I'm so full, guys. But I got to show you guys what the dessert bar looks like. So look at the dessert bar. Oh, two fingers. No? Oh, two fingers in a circle. How could you not love a dessert bar? Yes, regular milk, chocolate milk, puddings, sugar free blueberry pie, which is really the only sugar freeze they had over there. Uh, the banana pudding, delicious. Uh, just so many different pies, apple. Uh, brownies, you name it, you see what it is, sugar cookies, just delicious, you can't go wrong after you've had a nice meal, you know, you don't have to gorge on the desserts, but, you know, try a couple of them, surprisingly, carrot cake's really good, uh, so they do have a nice little variety, uh, some Golden Corrals do have a chocolate fountain, this one didn't, um, so they did have a select items on their dessert menu, but really good, uh, hot fudge, hot caramels, toppings for the ice cream, and there's the ice cream machine. Vanilla or mix of vanilla Hey guys, and so I'm, I'm totally stuffed. I'm tapping out. I'm done. I'm actually ready to go back home and go to bed, but I gotta work today. So I'm gonna give you guys my review of the food. Uh, all in all, I enjoyed my breakfast. Uh, I liked a lot of the stuff, the egg white omelets that are fresh. Uh, fresh to order, you know, cooked to order. I uh, put all the vegetables in there, tasted really good. Uh, the bacon was was up there, I really liked it. The fried bacon, uh, not so much, but the regular bacon, yes. Uh, the little chicken fried steaks, uh, a little salty, not a whole lot of flavor, but decent. Uh, the sweet cornbread was really good. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not much for a cornbread type person, um, but that wasn't bad. Uh, the grilled pork was, was okay. Uh, I would probably go back and get some more of those. The sausage links, uh, I really like those. Nice chewy texture to them. Uh, has still had a little bit of juiciness in them. The fried chicken, though. Now, the fried chicken was a real big surprise today. Uh, soft, juicy all the way through. There was no dry meat on the chicken. Uh, it was just really, really nice. Uh, and it was huge, so I pulled uh, all the meat off of that chicken, let it cool off. I was taking bites of that, and every time I pulled another one up, it was just juicy. So, thumbs up for that chicken. Way to go, Golden Corral. Uh, cheese pizza? Fair to middling. It was okay. Um, I did order my meal without drinks, no sodas or coffee or anything. Um, but what I was happy to find out what it does come with old-fashioned milk that's on the dessert section so it's included so I was really happy to have that and then I just had about six glasses of water um, so there you have it that's my review uh, for the breakfast menu on a scale of 1 to 10 oh let's not forget the desserts yeah okay the desserts so the little round waffle uh, Belgian waffle with the strawberry jelly on it with the sugar-free syrup amazing I really like it so final reviews uh, $12.99 $14 and what did I say earlier 13 cents $14 and 13 cents on a scale from 1 to 10 I would rank Golden Corral's breakfast at I would rank them at a seven. 
seven guys. Um, if you want to eat healthy, you can eat healthy here. If you want to go crazy and get a bunch of sweets, you can do that too. If you want to eat fattening foods, comfort foods, you can do that too. That's why I give it a seven. Uh, you can make a bunch of egg white omelets, throw a bunch of those vegetables in there. You can have the salads uh, and make that for you. You can have the fried chicken. You can have the french fries. You can have you can have spaghetti for breakfast. So. Uh, I think it's a really great value. $12.99 plus tax. That's my review. Christopher with Food Traveler and the IE. If you like the video, boom. Hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, boom. Hit the bell notification. And finally, if you want to just enjoy the time that we spend together with each other, and you just want to watch me eat food, then by all means, Hit the subscribe button. We'll see you on the next video.